you guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I want to share with you four Dollar Tree Spring DIYs. Um, these are kind of farmhouse and um, they are lemon themed. I was really inspired by the lemon stuff that they had at Walmart when they brought out their new spring decor. So I wanted to see what I could come up with using Dollar Tree items. For the first DIY, I'm just going to take this wreath that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. You will also need some garlands. These are just the green leaf garlands. And you will need two of them. And then you can pick up some of these lemons at Dollar Tree as well. I'm only going to be using three, but you can use as many as you would like. Also, if you can find them in a pack, somewhere else that's cheaper, I would recommend going that route because it can get kind of expensive buying a bunch of lemons at Dollar Tree for a dollar. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take your leaf garland and I'm going to keep it intact. All I'm going to do is cut off the ends of the garland and then basically I'm just going to hot glue the garland right around the wreath. And then once I have reached the other end of the garland where I started hot gluing, I'm just going to cut the remainder of it off. And this is what it should look like. And using the remainder of the garland, I'm just going to then cut the leaves off of that garland piece. And then I'm going to take my other garland and I'm going to start cutting the leaves off of this garland as well. Now once I have all of my leaves cut, I'm just going to go ahead and start hot gluing them onto my wreath, all pointing in the same direction. Now you can do this with all of your leaves. Um, instead of hot gluing the garland down without cutting the leaves off, you can cut all the leaves and do it that way. I just thought that it would make it look a little bit fuller and not so neat and orderly if I used the actual garland. And I hope that makes sense. But this is what it should look like once you have all your all of your leaves hot glued onto the wreath. Now I'm just gonna take my lemons and I'm gonna hot glue them onto the wreath. Now the trick is you wanna use a lot of hot glue and you wanna make sure that if you're hot gluing it onto a leaf, that that leaf is also well attached to the wreath. And again, like I said, you can use as many lemons as you would like. For this wreath, I'm only gonna use three because the lemons were a little bit big for this size of wreath. And now I'm just going to take the rest of my leaves and I'm kind of going to hot glue them in places where I want the wreath to look a little bit more full and kind of hide how far those lemons stick out from the leaves. As you can see what I'm doing here, I kind of just hot glue them up the sides of the lemons, make it look a little bit more full. And that is what I am left with. Now I'm just going to take this beautiful floral that I got from Dollar Tree. They have different colors, um, and I thought the yellow color would be perfect for this wreath. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the yellow pieces off of the stem. And then I decided to go ahead and cut these pieces down into one inch pieces. And then using what I have here, I'm basically just going to put a dab of hot glue and I'm going to put them throughout the leaves, kind of making it look like they're coming out of the leaves. And you want them all to be facing in the same direction. You can put as many or as little as you would like. Um, you could even just leave it with the lemon and the leaves. This is completely optional. I also decided I wanted to use these flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. Now, I love these yellow flowers. They look very similar to the ones that I've seen at Walmart that were in a cute little watering can. The best part about these is they have the brown stems, which I think is perfect for this wreath. So now I'm just going to cut those down, and I'm going to do the pretty much the same thing. I'm just going to add a dab of hot glue and put them in between the leaves, 
making it look a little bit full and adding pops of yellow throughout the wreath. So you can see what I'm doing here. And like I said, I love these flowers because I love the brown stems and it just matches the wreath beautifully. This is what it looks like, you guys. I'm absolutely in love with this wreath. I couldn't imagine it turning out any better. I really love the look of it. I only spent $4 on this wreath um, because I already had the wreath and the flowers. So for me, this was a great DIY, and I really did get the look for less. They were going for a lot more than that at Walmart. All right, for the next DIY, we're going to take this Happy Easter bunny sign, and we're going to take that little bow off of the bunny, and we're going to be using the back of this sign. Make sure you take the hanger off as well. Now I'm going to give you an idea of what we are going to make out of this Easter sign. I'm going to take this farm to table sign and also this little basket that I found at Dollar Tree. And I'm going to use a lemon so I can incorporate it with the rest of my decor. I'm going to use a glass bottle that I actually had on hand. I picked it up at a thrift store a while back. But you could use any glass bottle from Dollar Tree. And then I printed out this really cute lemon squash label off of the internet and I'm basically just going to glue it to the front of my glass bottle. I think this is really fun and I love repurposing items that I have around my house and I really think it looks farmhouse and it really goes with my whole theme. So now I'm just giving you an idea of what we are making out of the Easter sign. Um, basically I painted this sign and hated how it looked so I went ahead and I wrapped it with the wood contact paper that you can get at Dollar Tree. Then I hot glued a command hook up here at the top and I'm basically going to then cover it with the bow that we took off the bunny and hang my farm to table sign onto the hook. That's gr It makes it really great because then you can change out your signs for different seasons. Now with the basket on the bottom, I E6000 that to the sign and also reinforced it with some staples. Now I'm just gonna add a lemon and my cute bottle with some yellow floral and this is how it turned out. You guys, I absolutely love this little farmhouse sign. I love the basket and I love that you can change out the sign and decorate the basket for whatever season it is. I think it's a great addition to my home. For the next DIY, you're going to need a poster board. I chose to use black and then you're going to need this blessed placemat. You'll also need some tumbling tower blocks and then also some tacky glue and some shoe polish. This is optional. I decided not to use the shoe polish to stain my tumbling tower blocks. I like the look of the natural wood and I think that it matched the rest of my decor, so I didn't find it necessary to do that. But basically I'm gonna put my placemat down onto the poster board and then I'm gonna start laying out my tumbling tower blocks to figure out how many I'm gonna need to frame out this placemat. And what I ended up with was nine across the tops and then six across the sides. And you wanna play, pay close attention to the corners because you will see that they are opposite of each other. And hopefully you can see what I mean there. And um, you will have six blocks left over. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray adhesive on the back of my placemat and I'm just going to place it down onto my foam board. You want to leave about, I'm going to say a half an inch from the bottom of the foam board to the bottom of the placemat and this is going to allow you to cover that up with the tumbling tower blocks. This is just how I figured it would be easier to do. Um, because of the number of blocks that I had. Now, if you do this DIY, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But like I said, you need nine blocks along the bottom and then nine or six blocks on the sides. And you can see how the corners are going to be opposite and different from each other. Now that I have all my blocks glued down and framed, I'm going to take an X-Acto knife and I'm going to cut 
the excess foam board off and I ended up using a really dull razor blade knife so if you do this please use one that is sharp because my edges were not the best but it's okay you can go back and trim them up you can also use some black paint to hide that white but I love how this turned out. I think it is so cute. I love this sign so much. It is quite large. I think it looks perfect with the rest of my decor. For the last DIY, you're going to need a couple of boxes of the tumbling tower blocks. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to glue together eight strips of five blocks. And this is going to, the, to be the base. So you can see here, I have eight strips of five, and I'm just gonna take this tacky glue and I'm going to glue them together. Using this tacky glue can be kind of tricky because you do have to kind of wait for it to dry. Now what you're gonna need is five square pieces, and basically these square pieces are just three blocks stacked. And this is going to be the sides. So you're gonna put glue right there on the bottom and then also on the side Basically, you just want to put glue wherever it's going to be touching another block. You can see what I'm doing here. Now I'm just going to take those squares of three blocks and I'm going to make my sides. Basically, we're making a tray. <laughs> so we're going to be making a little tray. Um, also, another good tip is if you're doing something like this, have a wet paper towel on hand because it can get a little messy and this glue doesn't, um, it doesn't really dry clear. So you wanna make sure that you can clean up your edges. Now that we have one side done, please make sure you wait until it's dry and then we can start assembling the other side using the same method and doing the same exact thing. So now that I have both sides, we're going to do the ends. And you're gonna need a, a line of three. You're gonna turn it up on its side and you're going to place it there along the edge of your tray. And I really hope that I make sense. You can see what I'm doing. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one tum tumbling tower block and I'm going to glue it right there leaving an open space in the middle. I'm gonna take another block and I'm just gonna glue it to the other end. Now I'm gonna take another strip of three blocks and I'm gonna glue that to the top. And like I said, make sure you have glue everywhere that the blocks are going to be touching. So you can see here how the tray is starting to form. I love how this looks. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side until you have a cute little tray made of tower blocks from Dollar Tree. Now what you want is some of these really cute vases. They are quite small. I bought three of them. And this was actually inspired by one of the decor pieces I seen at Walmart in the Lemon Spring section. They had a cute little wall piece that had like jars attached to it with some really pretty yellow floral. And I thought this would be very similar. I thought about attaching it to a sign and letting the vases hang, but I really loved the idea of making this tray and then just kind of having the vases sit inside the tray, which is perfect because again, you can decorate this for any season and add whatever color of flowers that you would like. But this year for spring, I'm really loving the yellow. I'm obsessed with the lemon theme. I think it's so fun, vibrant, and so fresh, and it really uplifts my mood. I think yellow is such a fun color. Um, like I said, you can use that shoe polish to go ahead and stain your wood. I didn't think it was necessary. I love the natural look of this wood, and this tray turned out so much better than I ever imagined it would. I just think it looks so fun and fresh for spring. I love the yellow. This is probably my favorite DIY. So that is it for these Dollar Tree Spring DIYs. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, let me know in the comments section if you guys are in love with the lemon theme this year. If you like yellow for spring. I'm having a lot of fun with this theme. 
I think these DIYs turned out great. If you like this video, please give me a big thumbs up, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!